Bonjour! Here we are with lesson number six in graph transformations, y equals kf of x. Again, there are six transformations in total, and this is the fifth that we are looking at. So y equals kf of x. So really what we're doing is we're putting some number then in front of our function. How does that change the graph then? Well, thinking back to previous years, if you had y equals sine x and y equals 2 sine x, you could look at the graphs and you could tell how they are different. This is the graph of sine x, this is the graph of 2 sine x, and you can see that this graph has been stretched vertically. So the amplitude here is uh, 2. We're going between 2 and negative 2. This time it's 1 sine x, so it's going between 1 and negative 1. This one here has been stretched. Really what we've done is we've multiplied the y value by 2. So if you think about the different points, this point here is 91. If you double the y value, so double 1 you get 2, that's now going up to 92. So placing a 2 in front of the function multiplies every y value in each coordinate by 2, stretching the graph. Let's look at cos x and y equals 0 0.2 cos x. Again, thinking about the graph, you can tell how they are different just by looking at them. You can see that this graph here is going between 1 and negative 1. This one here is going between 0 0.2 and negative 0 0.2. So this one has not been stretched, it's been compressed. So placing a number between negative 1 and 1 in front of a function will compress the graph vertically. So it's going to squish it. Here, all the y values have been multiplied by 0 0.2. So again, instead of this point here being 0, 1, if you take the 1 multiply it by 0 0.2, you will get 0 0.2. So that will have a maximum there at 0 0.2. Or what you could say is because 0 0.2 is 1 fifth, I suppose really we've taken a fifth of all the y values. So we've divided the y values by 5. Either way, if the number is less than 1, it's going to compress the graph. And if it's bigger than 1, it's going to stretch the graph. So if we're given the graph of y equals f of x, we can easily draw the graph of k f of x by vertically stretching or compressing f of x. And this is done by multiplying the y value of each coordinate by that value, k. Let's try an example then. Example number one. Here is the graph of y equals f of x. Sketch y equals 3 f of x. So to do that, remember if we have a number in front, we are stretching the graph in the y direction. So we're multiplying the y values by this number in front of f of x. So we're multiplying all these y values by 3. So the y values, we've got 0, 4, 5, and 0. Multiplying them by 3. Obviously, if you do 4 times 3, you're going to get a bigger number. 5 times 3, you get a bigger number. If you do 0 times 3, though, they would just stay where they are. So these points are not going to be moving, as it says here. So these two points, then, you'll have 0, 4 going up to 0, 12. 2, 5 will now go up to 2, 15. These points remain as they are, and your new graph will look something like that. We're multiplying the y values by 3. So that is what you would get. If you look at them side by side, you can easily see that this one on the right has been stretched in the y direction. Let's look at another one. Here's the graph of y equals f of x. Sketch y equals a half f of x. So how do you think you would do this one? I can see Luke jumping up and down in his seat. He's got his hand flapping about in the air. Go on, Luke, what do you do? Yes. You are going to half all the y values. So if you half negative 10, half 0, and half 18, obviously it's just these two points that will be moving. 0, sorry, 8, 0 will just stay as 8, 0. If you have these points then and draw the line going through that, you would have something that looks more like that. And if you add in these points, instead of 3, negative 10, you'd have 3, negative 5. Instead of 43, 18, half the 18, and we'd have 43, 9. Remember, the x value stays, and we're just compressing this graph here. So we're halving this y value, and that is what you would get. So that is y equals half f of x.
Again, looking at them side by side, you can see that this one on the right has been squished. It's been compressed. That is a half f of x. Give the questions a shot. You are sketching the graph of y equals k f of x. Remember, it's the y value that you are wanting to change. The x value will stay as it is. Good luck. Give me a shout if you need help with this. Enjoy. Au revoir.